to Akron Buzz, the show where we talk about the cool things going on in and around Akron. I'm Julie Holiday. Joining me in studio today uh, to talk a little bit more about really cool things going on for artists and singers and performers is Kyle Joza. Kyle, thank you. And talk to me a little bit more about the electric pressure cooker. Well, the electric pressure cooker is a once a month open mic cabaret that's uh, run by Wandering Aesthetics and Rubber City Theater Company. So you say open mic cabaret. Tell me more about that. So we really try and craft our open mic. It's very important to us that it is a real experience, something that you're going to talk to all your friends about. So there's a few different ways it's a cabaret. First and foremost, uh, we call it a cabaret because it's not just a music open mic or a theater open mic or a comedy open mic. It's everything rolled into one. It's anything goes. So we get music, we get poetry, we get storytelling, we get performance art. So all sorts of great performances. Nice. I've actually, you know, in being in comedy and stuff, like there's a lot of open mics, so it's a very unique way of doing it. Like kind of manipulating the, the, how, how it goes on and everything, too. Exactly. Cool. Yeah. yeah, and that's that's important to us, too. We, we have the opportunity to, we get so many people who are signing up on this list, we get the opportunity to craft the list in a way that it really allows the audience to go through a whole roller coaster mm. Of, of an experience instead of it just being like five musicians in a row then five right. theater right now you guys started off like kind of in a basement and now you're in a new location tell me about that yeah so <laughs> <laughs> start in the basement now you're here <laughs> yes yeah moving on up <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> into the back of the theater <laughs> so we uh we have these friends scott and kevin who run every blooming thing florist shop yes which is on exchange yes and we went to their basement because we were we were helping them working with them and we were in their giant basement and we realized that there was a lot of potential down there. Hmm. So we asked Scott and Kevin like, hey, can we clean it up? And they said, are you serious? And <laughs> we're like, yeah, we're gonna clean it up and we're gonna use it. They're like, hey, if you clean it up, you can use it. So right. we cleaned it up, we organized it for them and we created this space that for a while, Benjamin and I were using to rehearse. And Benjamin is the other, well, one of the one of the big three of Wandering <laughs> Aesthetics. And we were rehearsing down there, but then we came back from the Appalachian Trail and there had been a flood in the basement. Oh, wow. So we had to get rid of the carpet and we had to change some things. And Benjamin suggested, hey, why don't we have this open mic that we've been talking about having in the basement? Mm -hmm. So we brought it there, and the first the first event we had, I think it was 15 acts and 30 people. <laughs> and by the time May rolled around, it was more like 30 acts and 100 plus people. Oh wow! The audience is so important for something like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah the audience makes the electric pressure cooker what it is, really. Right. And so now, where is it? So now we moved to Pub Rico. There is a wonderful space called Non Too Fragile Theater that actually mm -hmm. operates in the back of yes. Pub Rico. Yes. And they give us dates and we have an agreement with them and we, you know, we get to use that about once a month. Once a month, okay. And so the next one is June twentieth? Yes it is. Yes, where yes. you've asked me to MC. Yes, so. you're going to be wonderful. <laughs> I'm very excited. Oh, that's a lot of pressure on me. <laughs> it's a lot of electric pressure cooking around. It is. Me. <laughs> that's what, that's the idea. Turn yes. that coal into diamonds. Yes, absolutely. Um and so what inspired you guys to have this? I mean, you talked a little bit more about uh, or you talked a little bit about, you know, a lot of the performers and everything, but like what separates it from just an open mic to you? Well, we decided we really wanted to have an open mic where anything was possible. Mm -hmm. uh, there was this open mic run at a place in New York City called Surf Reality. And Benjamin was just in love with this open mic. He never got to go to it, but a lot of people like Christian Finnegan, Keith and the Girl, which is a big comedy podcast they came out of this open mic hmm. and it's because there were so many talented artists around each other supporting each other so we wanted to create an environment like that and we've been to open mics in the area and we really did, never experienced that right at least not for theater right. so we wanted an open anything goes open mic and we had the chance to create it and that way for me as a storyteller, being a fledgling storyteller, I could learn how to interact with an audience in a safe place, hmm. in an environment where the risks weren't necessarily as high. Right. And I think even to this day, 
the risks are still lower, you know, for the performers because you get all levels of performers and all types of performances. And that's very, very important to make sure that these performers feel safe right. and they can introduce new material and have this opportunity to grow on stage or in their act. Right. And being in the audience, you know, thus far for these for these shows, it feels that way. It feels like such a community of all these very talented performers, singers, comedians getting together and you're being watched by fellow people who either appreciate the arts or who are artists themselves. So it's a very, I totally get that community feel of it. And I, I think what's, what's nice about it too is that originally, you know, you, you think about comedy open mics the comedians are the harshest critics, you know? Yes, and so yes. we were wondering, like, would that happen with the electric pressure cooker? But not at all. The community is incredibly supportive of, of newbies and, and some of the veterans who have been coming since the beginning. Hmm. Now, if I, if I am an audience member, how can I be a part of this night? Like, tell me about like, the process. Is there an entry fee? Is there anything like that? And that's another great thing about the Electric Pressure Cooker Open Mic Cabaret. It's free. Hmm. And we would like to always keep it free. That's very important to us because wow. we don't think that money should be a barrier to the art. So all you would have to do is show up sometime between, if you just wanted to be an audience member, sometime yeah. between 8 p.m. and 2 a.m. at Pub Rico on the 20th, for instance. Yes. <laughs> and you'd get to see Julie up there yes. <laughs> and a bunch of other performers. Yeah. Uh, you could, what, what's awesome about Pub Rico, you know, you can buy drinks and food there. And it's, again, it's a free event, open to the public. You don't have to stay the whole time. It does feel like a performance, but there's audience interaction, audience right. engagement. That's an important part of the process. Right. If you want to sign up to yes. perform. Yes, tell me about the process for a performer, definitely. So, so as a performer, the best thing to do is to get to Pub Rico around 7 p.m. Sign-ups begin at 7.30, but the line starts forming out yes. the door at 7 p.m. It's a huge night. It is, wow. and we only have 27 slots available. We usually have between 30 and 40 people sign up. So we have a waiting list, um, and not everybody always uses their slots, and sometimes slots are shorter because you get 10 minutes. Every performer gets 10 minutes, oh, okay. but some don't use that. Hmm. And it's like set up and take down as well for the musicians to the 10 minutes. Yes. And for the musicians, we have a house drum kit. So you don't need to worry about that. We have all the amps you'll ever need. We wow. have the mics. So all you need to do really is bring your equipment other than drums. Wow. That's wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like to add to? Um, is there a website or Facebook page or anything like that? You can find it on the Wandering Aesthetics Facebook page. You can also just actually search uh, electric pressure cooker hmm. or hashtag EP cooker which is the popular hashtag that everybody uses nice nice well I appreciate that so much um and you're an Akron native correct yes, yes. well I grew up in Stowe but I mean oh Stowe I, no. can, <laughs> I consider it close enough and I've been in Akron now for the last uh, six plus years so. nice. it's it's awesome that you guys are staying in Akron and kind of building up the the scene around here it's very important definitely it's such a good scene yes. there's so much potential here <laughs> why do you think I'm a part of Akron Exactly. Like this is exactly like I want to make make it known like that there's so much here you know so that's wonderful thank you so much for coming on Akron Buzz no problem yes. thank you yeah so we will see you I'll see you on the twentieth yeah. and I hope to see you guys on the twentieth as well thank you so much for joining Kyle and I in the studio it's been awesome this has been another episode of Akron Buzz.